Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coach of the YouTube channel and welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those seasoned veterans of what we do around here. Uh, and if you are dealing with trauma and trauma recovery, I specialize in trauma recovery and work in that field in one way or another for the last 14 years. Hopefully it can be beneficial to you to work with somebody who's done that and um, there's a couple ways we can work together. Get in contact with me on Twitter at PO Perception or... Uh, you can go to the About Me section of this here YouTube page. Uh, go there, and my website's there. You can find more information that way. But we're going to talk about four or five of the different things that can contribute to uh, kind of a trauma-related belief system and thereby create a trauma history. So the first is obviously abuse, physical, mental, emotional, fin financial, sexual, um, all of these forms of abuse can, can, can greatly contribute to a person's trauma core, each individual abusive experience, but also a history. The more vibrant the history, the more frequent the history, the more likely it is for a person to have trauma core related challenges. That is trauma core related challenge is the inability to believe in one's own resiliency and thereby recovery process for their own life reaching their own goals aspirations and things that matter to them like unto it is neglect now neglect is a little different the ability to present and most of this is done by parents family members or caregivers during the first seven to twelve years of life and that neglect is defined as the ability to give care, medical, mental, emotional support, um, financial support, um, you know, any sort of support that a child would need, educational processing, all of that, and being unwilling or unable or, you know, disinvolved, kind of disappearing from the process. Now, it is better for a person to be non-present than it is for them to be neglectful. Non-present can be overcome. People can move on and, and move other adults into the roles, be it even as a surrogate parental figure, as opposed to being neglectful, neglectful which is being only partially present. Well, I know our society deems the involvement of both parents and deems the involvement of raising a, a child through a, a family environment. However, it would be my contention in working with over 15,000 people, a toxic family environment is far worse than an absent family party because the toxic environment or the neglectful environment leads to longer term damage, which is the next, which ultimately kind of overlaps into it, the inacknowledgement or lack of acknowledgement or lack of willingness to acknowledge mental health issues, especially in children and teenagers. Now, when we are learning coping skills, it's very important that the caregivers are willing to acknowledge when there are issues that could use an outside source counselor coaching, psychologist, psychiatrist, and or team of people in order to deal with mental health related challenges. Many mental health related challenges show early symptoms in late preteen to teenager years. And when a person gets help early enough, they can kind of rewire their brain towards it being less of an issue or even eradicating the issue be before it becomes an adult issue the problem becomes when there's a denial that there's a problem and the uh, child or young person has to navigate them without proper coping mechanisms or support system and then they turn things into themselves and they're thereby creating a negative self-image which ultimately then leads to allowing abuse and other forms of negative self-behavior as well as negative self-talk, which leads to a harder adulthood. The next thing is any form of self-harm or self-injury. Self-abuse is a reality, and it happens all the time. This could be cutting, burning, um, st starvation behavior, sleep deprivation behavior, or any other form of trying to harm oneself in an effort to punish oneself for how one is seen, perceived, or believed to be. Um, 
this can also give way into our final topic, which is bullying. That is either being the bully or being the victim of the bully. Social, social ostracization or social game playing on the part of a, a young person who is perhaps choosing to be a bully because they themselves feel ostracized at home or other forms of reasons why they may choose to bully can be problematic for a number of reasons. And the more that we deny the existence of trauma related to bullying, both in terms of making friends and social ostracization and isolation, the harder it can be for a person to find what they need for their own future socially and thereby hinder the ability of relationships to be made in a healthy manner for the future. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.